Hello, in this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a film from Treat. Um, the name of it is so strange, I, I can't even say it, so I'm just going to show you. <laughs> you can read this out, it's troublesome for me to say it, I'm not going to even try, <laughs> I have no idea how to say it. But let's have a look at the prints after the intro. So this strange named filament from Tweet is, is like a rubber filament. Um, here on the, the sticker it's a name of it. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce this name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> but you see it here. Um, here they say the hot end temperature should be 215, and there's like no range. And I just, just set the temp to 215 on my test. Um, bed temperature 85 to 115 and speed less than 30 millimeters per second fan on and other glue stick on the build surface or may well to pi or build tack advised nozzle diameter at least 0 0.5 millimeters info a flexible filament mixed with materials from recycled tires and more information at treatfilaments.com um, this was uh, quite an interesting filament, but I'm going to show you show you my prints. Um, first, I did this like normal brake test, and um, as this is a flexible filament, this is is just rubbery like. Um, it's very tough. I'm unable to pull this apart. So layer adhesion is excellent, and this is really really tough. And it's, uh, I'd say, rather flexible. It's very easy to, to bend and, and twist and, and, and flex. So, but the surface finish is, is quite nice. And I did uh, my maker coin. Um, it's very maybe difficult to see with the black, but uh, the, it's like a matte surface. Um, it's really nice. It came out excellent and, and almost no issues. And it's it's flexible, but it's just difficult to to see on the on the camera with the lights. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how best to show this, but uh, because it's very black, but uh, just have to take my word. <laughs> it's came come out excellent. And then I did sear layers a lot, and that came out pretty nice. There was some amount of stringing though, and it's again difficult to see maybe on, on this camera. Yeah, it's better to see on this camera. You can see a little bit of stringing in there, but it's it's flexible and, and it was really no issues printing. Uh, just printing at slower speeds at like 30 millimeters per second. And it came out pretty nice, and you can see the maker coin. This is printed out without any infill, so it's just like a rubber. <laughs> uh, one one thing about this filament, it smells quite like car tires, and when you are printing it, it, it it's a little bit smelly. So and just like if you smell a car tire when it, when you cut into it, <laughs> and, and it's. Uh, yeah, you can see it looks like a black matte uh, filament, so it was coming out surprisingly good and, and easy to print with. So this was my quick look at treat filament, like car tire rubbery filament with a strange name. <laughs> it, it was surprisingly good, even though it had a little bit of car tire smell when I, when I was printing in. It has a, like a new car tire smell to it, like a rubber smell, um, but it gives a really nice finish and, and it's quite flexible and, and extremely tough. It's, I haven't been able to, I'm unable to, to plug this apart and this is printed just, uh, it's a small piece, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> and I, can, I can't pull it apart. But uh, this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please give this a video a thumbs up or a comment and a subscribe to my channel. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.